Custom doorbell ringtones for your HomeKit enabled doorbell. That's what we're discussing today. I'm gonna to show you what you'll need and how to do it. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy Apple home smart home with new videos and live streams published every week right here. Now I've done reviews on basically all of the doorbell cameras that support Apple Home natively. And one of those videos, I got this comment right here. I am just getting started. Is it possible to create a shortcut that allows for custom doorbell chime sounds? Is that something you could do a video on? Well, thanks for the comment. Let's make that video. Other doorbells like uh, those made by Ring or Google actually have this type of feature built in where it's really easy to just change you know, the doorbell sounds. Unfortunately, us Apple Home users, it's not quite as straightforward, but we won't let that stop us. If you wanna switch up your doorbell sounds, maybe to have a little fun around the holidays or just switch things up from time to time, I got you. There's a couple ways to do this depending on which doorbell you have. If you have the Acara G4 doorbell, which does natively support Apple Home, you actually have the option to customize your ringtone and even upload your own audio files to be used as ringtones. This is a native solution all within the Acara app. The G4 doorbell camera is different than the others and actually connects to its own little chime box. Because of that, this does work really well and is very responsive. If you have the G4 doorbell, just go into the device settings in the Acara app, tap ringtone settings, tap customized ringtone, and here you can see the options to import your own audio files into your ringtone library. You can choose any MP3 file that is saved on your phone or iCloud to import into your library. Once you do that, tap on the doorbell ringtone option and you'll see your customized ringtones here. Now that's it if you're doing this with the Acara G4. Now this ringtone will only play on the doorbell chime that comes with this Acara doorbell. It will not play on your home pods or anything like that. I'm gonna show you how to do that next and doing it this other way, you'll also be able to use you know, this method with any HomeKit doorbell camera, something like the Wemo doorbell or the Logitech Circle View, which is one that I'm currently using at my front door. But first, let's talk about today's sponsor, Netgear, because if you're using a smart video doorbell camera, you're gonna want a good Wi-Fi network throughout your house. A solid Wi-Fi network should be the foundation to any smart home. I'm using Netgear's latest Orbi 970 series. It's their latest Wi-Fi 7 model. It supports quad band technology with an enhanced dedicated backhaul. That's how the satellites and the main router talk to one another. The main router has a 10 gig internet port, 10 gig ethernet port, and four 2.5 multi gig ethernet ports. In other words, this will give you fantastic speeds throughout your home, whether you're gaming, streaming videos, or building a smart home. One thing I love about the Orbi 970 series is that you can connect up to 200 devices to the network and easily create up to three separate networks, including one specifically for your IoT. T devices. I'm a big fan of the Netgear Orbi products. I've been using different models now for years and this new Wi-Fi 7 model is incredible. Check out the link in the description down below for more and big thanks to Netgear for sponsoring today's video and supporting the channel. Now if you have any other HomeKit doorbell or even if you have the Acara one but you know still want to play some fun sounds on your home pods throughout the house we can do that. Unfortunately, we can't change the standard doorbell chime sound that the HomePods make when a doorbell is pressed, but we can add additional sounds through automations. And if you want to turn off that default chime, you can do that as well in the HomePod settings in the Home app if you want to. I have found that that HomePod, that you know, native HomePod chime is a little faster to respond when the doorbell is pressed though than these automations. So just keep that in mind. You can turn that off. You can still use both the chime and automations. Uh, just something to keep in mind. But essentially what we're gonna do is just create an automation that will play a certain sound on any HomePods that we specify when the doorbell is pressed. 
Now, of course, you will need a doorbell or a button even would work in HomeKit for this. And you will also need a subscription to Apple Music. So let's go ahead and jump in. There are a couple ways you can set this up. But first, what I want to do is create a scene that will play the sound on our HomePods. So in the Home app, tap Add New Scene, tap Custom. I'll give it a name. Then I'll tap Add Accessories. Look for any HomePods that you want to play the sound uh, when we run this automation. You can choose multiple HomePods or only certain ones. So you can give your daughter, you know, a custom fairy princess sound in, on her HomePod. And your son some random fart sounds on his, for example. Uh, and it'll go off whenever the doorbell rings. But I'll go ahead and choose a few different HomePods in the house. Now we'll choose the media that we want to play. I'll tap choose audio. Apple Music, Library, and now I can choose anything in my library, which can include songs or whatever, really. You can see I have a couple of sleigh bell sound effects right here that are perfect for the Christmas season. I'd probably go ahead and set a custom volume. And that's it for our scene. Now we can create an automation that will trigger that scene each time the doorbell is pressed. Unfortunately though, the Apple Home app is limited here and does not give us the option to automate the doorbell button press. Again, just in the Home app. HomeKit, however, does have this ability, just can't do it in the Home app. It's crazy, I know. Uh, so we'll just have to use a third party HomeKit app that gives us a little more access into HomeKit. Home Plus, the controller for HomeKit app, and the free Eve app are all great ones that I recommend. I'll put links to all of them down below if you wanna check them out. I'll show you today in the Eve app since this one is free. I'll go to my Automations tab, to my Rules, tap New Rule. For my Trigger, I'll tap Add Trigger and look for my Doorbell by going to Other Value. I'll go to my Front Porch. Here we can see my circle view doorbell is showing up as a button. I tap on single press, tap next. I don't need any conditions here, so I'll tap next. Now let's look for the scene that we just created with our HomePods. And there we go. Now we can name our new automation and that's it. Now when someone presses the doorbell button, those HomePods will play that custom sound through that automation uh, that we created earlier. There are lots of sound effects that you can find and use right there in Apple Music. This is the easiest method. If you want to add your own audio files to use like I did, you'll need to get those files into Apple Music. I'm not sure if there's an easier way to do this on an iPhone or something, but if you have a Mac computer, you can simply open any audio file with the Apple Music app on your computer and it will automatically be added to your library. I hope this helped. If you wanna talk more about Siri shortcuts or automations, check out my member Discord server. You can get instant access to that when you become a YouTube channel member for about five bucks a month. Big shout out to all of the current channel members. Thank you guys all for the continued support over there. Because of you that I am able to continue making these videos. Thanks also to Netgear for sponsoring today's video. Feel free to stop by the next live stream, hang out, ask questions, or just chat about smart home tech. I live stream every Wednesday right here. Everyone is welcome. I hope to see you there. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.